Hey everyone, so this is a video tutorial on how to set up the J Master Duel bot. This is a new trainer and bot for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. All you have to do is go to the GitHub page, github.com slash bullyvplaza slash jmasterduelbot. The link will be in the description. Here you will see the readme and you can read about the current features of the bot. There will be a lot more in the future. But if you want to download the tool, you can go to the download page here github releases page. Next you will have to click on the download button right here. When Chrome downloaded the archive it might tell you that this is an unusual download. All you have to do is click here and say keep and then you will keep the file. You click on it in order to open the archive in WinRAR or some other archiving software. Then you can minimize the browser and you can create a new folder called um, jmasterduelbot on your desktop. Next you can open the folder up and you can drag the jmasterduelbot launcher exe into this folder. Then you can um, close the archiving software and here you have to double click the launcher in order to run. It will ask you to run as administrator, say yes. Then the launcher will probably update if there's any updated launcher available. And on top of that, if you run the launcher, you will get a launcher.log file. This is a log file for debugging problems with the launcher, just in case you have any bugs or whatever. Okay, the new launcher has been downloaded right here, so this one can be closed. And you can delete the old launcher and start the new one. So once again say yes to run as administrator and then the launcher has been loaded. Here you can choose the Java version you want to use in order to launch the bot. I recommend using JDK 17. If you don't have Java installed you can do so by clicking here. If you click here it will automatically download the JDK 17 Windows installer. But since I already have it I can cancel the download and I can continue. If you're not sure which Java version is supported, you can click on check Java version and then you can read whether it's supported or not and here it will say congrats this installed Java version is fully compatible with is fully compatible with JMaster Duel bot. Okay. So now we just click on launch application. This can take a few seconds because it has to download the latest application build and then it also has to download the libraries. So overall you might have to wait about 45 seconds. As you can see another libraries folder has been created where all the library jar files are going to be downloaded into. And after all library jar files have been downloaded the application is able to start. As you can see the first attempt of running the application failed so it's retrying. And after it succeeded as you can see you will probably see the terms of use. You have to read the terms of use and if you agree to the terms of use you can say yes and then you can start using the application. It will tell you Master Duel has not been detected as running, please start Master Duel. You can start Master Duel by simply clicking on start game but you can also start it any other way you want by double clicking the icon or anything like that. So now the game is running and we can actually start using some of the cheats. Currently there are only cheats available. If you look at the bot tab it's still empty so it will come soon. So don't start the application and be like wow the bot is missing you know. So you have settings and then donator and the about tab. Here you can also pause the game so now the game is frozen as you can see. And you can resume the game, you can quit the game, restart the game. Then from the cheats the free version includes instant win, maybe a few other things in the future. But if you tick that checkbox while the game is running, you have enabled instant win and you can win every duel instantly. But it only works against CPUs, it doesn't work in PvP. Okay, that's all there is to it. If you want to become a donator and unlock all the features, you can go to the donator tab. The computer I'm currently on is not donator as you can see. But you can easily become donator by reading the instructions. So you click on donate and then you choose your donation method such as PayPal which is the most preferred method. If you click on PayPal it will open up two links. One is the order form link which is the first one you can see and it asks me to do a uh, capture. So I will complete that. 
Then it shows me donate to Bolivi Plaza, um, application name Bot, your authentication code and the amount you have to donate which is 10 euros and then you can donate. The other link here is also a similar donation link but it does not contain the authentication code it's just a PayPal me link. In some cases the order form doesn't work for people so they have to use the PayPal me. Also if you cannot use PayPal again you can just use any of the other provided payment options. Okay so after you donate it you will be authenticated as donator as soon as possible and then all features will be unlocked. So these features will then become available. Okay, that's all. And if you enjoyed, like, comment and subscribe. Make sure to follow the YouTube channel to join the Discord and also to take a look at the GitHub page. I might update it once in a while with new information. See you guys next time.